So I have been asked how I make my cheap tiny whip gates and I figured I'd make a quick tutorial because I haven't actually found anything quite like this online. Uh, some people have come close but there's a couple things that I found that I haven't seen anyone talk about. So uh, yeah, the actual structure of it is pretty simple. Um, just a wooden base with a hole drilled, PVC coming up. This is like I think half inch PVC, half inch PEX. This is clear PEX that I found at Menards. Um, white PEX does work, but your LEDs are going to probably be a little brighter. So the clear stuff works pretty well. This is five foot loop, um, so the, it comes in five foot sections. Or at Menards, it was five foot or a hundred foot. So I bought a handful of five foot sections because hundreds overkill. Um, and then uh, for this part, this one I've three D printed, but generally for uh, convenience, it's much easier to do something like this, these little T connectors, um, and that works just, just fine. There's no reason to have to 3D print anything. Um, and then here you can, I ended up having to wrap electrical tape around this connect, this side to make it a little more stiff so it wouldn't tip over on me. Um, and that's pretty much it there. So aside from that, you can see on this one too, I have 3D printed this base, but the wood works just fine um, and is easy enough. So I suggest just using the wood bases as opposed to 3D printing the bottom. And that basically leaves the lights. So the LEDs, um, in this case I bought this cheap like multi-color pack, so it comes with a bunch of different colors. Um, and they have these little battery packs on them. And uh, these work pretty good. I find they're not too bright where they blow out my image when it's dark in the room. Um, some LED core tiny whip courses I've done, it's really hard to see when you're coming up through gates because it, they're so bright. Um, these aren't nearly that bright, so I find that much better for me. Um, I also like that this whole LED pack, it was like eight, seven foot strands for like, uh, like $12 or something. So you can get quite a few and there's lots of different varieties. I'll put a link to the ones I bought in the description but there are plenty of other options too. Um, and then basically I just drill a small hole right up here and run, and then you just run the LEDs through that. And you want to come out the holes so that you don't have to try and figure out how to get it out somewhere else. But um, and that's pretty much it. The only other bonus tidbit that I will give is one of the, so these output like six volts and there's not a resistor in here, but it's just these little coin cell batteries. Um, but what I found is, um, one of the other packs of lights that I had bought had a 20 ohm resistor with some AAA batteries or something like that. And so what I learned from that is actually you could put a resistor in here. So you can see I've got the bulge of a little resistor right there. And I just put a tiny bit battery on, connector on there and, um, it'll light that gate for, couple hours um, just with one little tiny whip battery and these are super cheap and I have a whole heap of old ones that don't hold the output of charge nearly as well as they used to um, and I find that I mean this to me is is ideal because it's I don't have to worry about buying little coin cell batteries I can just recharge them on my you know these six single cell chargers um, and then uh, so when this dies I'm just going to cut it off and put tiny whip connectors on there these PH2 uh, connectors and uh, if you want it to be a little brighter you can lower the resistance so that the other one was 20 ohm this one's 10 um, and I did rig up one without a resistor and it makes it really bright uh, however I don't know how quick it's going to burn through that battery so I do advise 10 ohm resistor and I just bought like one of these huge packs of resistors you know with all the different varieties let's see if I can get it in camera here all these different variety of resistors. I found the 10 ohm, 20, 10 ohm, whatever. And you can kind of experiment with different resistances. And then you should be good to go. Thank you. Happy flying. Hope everyone enjoys their tiny whip winter. <laughs>